What a big difference. Hi everyone and welcome to Drive, your source for automotive reviews, analysis, maintenance and restorations. Please subscribe to our channel, watch the entire video and of course click on notifications to be first to learn about new videos. I'm Chris Capradoni and in this how-to video I'm going to demonstrate and explain transmission fluid replacement. The Buick I am demonstrating the fluid change on has some age issues that is preventing a full fluid change. One of the transmission lines has a connection that, that is aluminum corroded and any excessive force to remove it will cause significant damage. Given the situation, I've modified my strategy to change the uh, fluid, which I will share with you. Let's go over to the vehicle and get started. Hi everyone. So today what I'm doing on this Buick Encore is um, a trans automatic transmission fluid flush, but it's not the first time and let me explain. So typically what I would have done is do a complete uh, transmission flush, but I ran into um, uh, issues with this vehicle that prevented me from doing that and then adjusting my, I had to adjust my strategy. Um, the connector to the transmission cooler is is seized in place and I'll show a photo of that and without that I can't drain the fluid from the cooler at the same time so what I've proposed to do and this is the third time I'm doing it now is I'm draining transmission fluid in percentages of the total eight and a half liters capacity that's in there so what I'm doing is opening up the uh, bolt in the bottom of the transmission, just letting it drain freely. And what that'll take out is about three to four liters of fluid. Then what I'm doing is measuring it exactly and refilling the transmission with the exact amount, driving it to dilute the remaining old fluid in there and then doing it again. So this is the third time, which will statistically or, or um, not statistically, but percentage wise allow me to dilute the amount of old fluid in there to a point where it really doesn't matter much. I'm taking very good care of the of the transmission by injecting three to four liters every time, which is which again, what I'm saying is I'm trying to circumvent the fact that I can't drain the, the cooler. So what I'm going to do is get set up and show you how I do it, just in case you run into this issue yourself, at least you'll know what to do um, as, as a plan B. Okay, here we are underneath. I wasn't able to remove all of the connectors for this plastic cover. There was one there. It's a rusted screw. So thanks GM for that. So what I did was I removed them all right here is the bottom of the transmission. And there's this 11 millimeter bolt that needs to be taken out. It's the drain plug. Okay, another step is I need to take the refill cap off of the top of the transmission to uh, alleviate the vacuum that's created so that the maximum amount of fuel or a maximum amount of uh, fluid, sorry, will come out. And I'll show a picture of where that is. In case you're curious, that's what the uh, refiller cap looks like.
So I purchased a calibrated pail so that I could put all of the drain transmission fluid into it so that I can see exactly how much came out because I need to put the exact amount back in of clean fluid. And as the bucket is telling me, uh, exactly, or just a touch over three liters of fluid has been taken out. I've taken a look at it. It's a tiny bit tinged on the dark side, but actually it's still pretty good. So my continual flushing of the, of the system by draining some of the old fluid and putting some new fluid in is working because overall the condition of the uh, fluid is in pretty good sh in pretty good shape so what i'm going to do now is um set up so that i can start filling the opening the, the um the top of the transmission with three three liters of the uh, dexron six automatic transmission fluid i purchased a very long um funnel so that I'm able to reach the opening for the transmission to refill it. I had to push one of the hoses slightly out of the way so that I could fit it in the hole. Now the next step is I need to put in three liters of, of fresh fluid and then close it off. And that should be it for the job. But I need to be very careful that as I'm pouring it in, it doesn't overflow. So I need to be very controlled in what I'm doing. So I'm gonna get the transmission fluid a cup that a red cup that I have that's a half liter, and I'll have to be I have to fill it up six times so that I can get three liters worth of fluid. So I need to be able to track exactly what I'm putting in. That's very important. I put three liters of fresh fluid and then an additional half cup, which is a quarter liter extra to accommodate for the slightly over three liters that I had in the pail with the drain fluid just to be on the safe side. So I'm letting that cup drain in there. The last step is to remove the funnel and then put the cap back in place. Now comes the part of the job that I do not like, getting this cap back in place. I have to be able to move my hand in a very extremely tight um, area and be able to thread it properly and then secure it down with basically one hand. So here it goes. Okay, it's starting to go in. I can see it turning. I feel no resistance on the thread. If you do, that means you're you're going to cross thread it and this is plastic, it'll crack. Do not take it out and try again. Okay, it won't turn anymore. I can see it's all the way down. I'm just making sure. And there you go, it's in place. So that completes the job. Now I'll probably do this again in another two, three months and just continually keep doing that. Automatic transmission fluid isn't that expensive, but a transmission rebuild is. So if I continue to do this, I'll continually have fresh fluid in the system, which will protect all the gears and manage the heat. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks everyone for watching this tutorial on how to partially replace the transmission fluid in a vehicle when it is not possible to do a complete transmission flush due to damaged connections and or age of the vehicle. Repeating this procedure several times will replicate the effectiveness of an entire transmission flush. Dispose of old transmission fluid environmentally and ensure the vehicle is lifted and secured properly for the entire procedure. If you have any issues, send me a comment. Please remember to subscribe to our channel, like the video, and select the notification option. Drive, your source for automotive reviews, analysis, maintenance, and restorations.